A thurible via Old French from medieval Latin terribulum is a metal censer suspended from chains, in which incense is burned during worship services. It is used in Christian churches including the Roman Catholic, Maronite Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, Armenian Apostolic and Oriental Orthodox, as well as in some Lutheran, Old Catholic, United Methodist, Reformed, Presbyterian Church USA, Anglican churches with its use almost universal amongst Anglo-Catholic Anglican churches. In Roman Catholic, Lutheran, and Anglican churches, the altar server who carries the thurible is called the thurifer. The practice is rooted in the earlier traditions of Judaism in the time of the Second Jewish Temple. Beyond its ecclesiastical use, the thurible is also employed in various other spiritual or ceremonial traditions, including some Gnostic churches, Freemasonry, especially in the consecration of new lodges, and in co Freemasonry. Thuribles are sometimes employed in the practice of ceremonial magic. The workings of a thurible are quite simple. Each thurible consists of a censer section, chains typically three or four, although single chain thuribles also exist, a metal ring around the chains used to lock the lid of the censer section in place, and usually although not always, a removable metal crucible in which the burning charcoals are placed. Many thuribles are supplied with a stand, allowing the thurible to be hung safely when still hot, but not in use. Burning charcoal is placed inside the metal sensor, either directly into the bowl section, or into a removable crucible if supplied, and incense of which there are many different varieties is placed upon the charcoal, where it melts to produce a sweet-smelling smoke. This may be done several times during the service as the incense burns quite quickly. Once the incense has been placed on the charcoal the thurible is then closed and used for sensing. A famous thurible is the huge Botafumero in Santiago de Compostela Cathedral, Spanth word. Thurible comes from the Old French thurible, which in turn is derived from the Latin term thuribulum. The Latin thuribulum is further formed from the root thus, meaning incense. Thus is an alteration of the Greek word thios, thuos, which is derived from thion, thuin, to sacrifice. Due to the ceremonial use of incense, its cultural importance in Western Catholicism can be seen e.g. in the introduction of a incense-smelling fragrance, Avignon, in 2002. Avignon was created for Cum des Garçons as a part of their incense series by Bertrand Duchaufort. Thus the introduction of incense in Christian worship here and there within various denominations is paralleled by wider cultural interest turning again back from the Oriental mysticism also to Western use of incense. <laughs> Roman Rite The Roman Missal, as revised in 1969, allows the use of incense at any Mass, in the entrance procession, at the beginning of Mass to incense the cross and the altar, at the Gospel procession and proclamation, after the bread and the chalice have been placed upon the altar, to incense the offerings, the cross, and the altar, as well as the priest and the people, at the elevation of the host and the chalice after the consecration. The number of swings of the thurible to be used when incensing persons or objects is specified in the general instruction of the Roman Missal. Three double swings, the Most Blessed Sacrament, a relic of the Holy Cross and images of the Lord exposed for public veneration, the offerings for the sacrifice of the Mass, the altar cross, the Book of the Gospels, the Paschal Candle, the priest, and the people. Two double swings, and only at the beginning of the celebration, after the incensing of the altar, relics and images of the saints exposed for public veneration. A series of single swings, the altar. The priest may incense the offerings for Mass by tracing a cross over them with the thurible instead of using three swings of the thurible. The responsibilities of a thurifer include Holding the thurible open to enable the priest to put incense in it, after which he blesses it with the sign of the cross without using any formula of words. Carrying the thurible in procession, gently swinging if needed to keep the charcoal burning. Presenting the thurible to the priest or deacon when they need to use it. Incensing in the absence of a deacon the priest after the priest has incensed the offering at Mass, another server, previously called a boat boy and now more commonly a boat bearer, may carry a boat or container of incense to add as the thurible burns low. These rules, except for the manner of incensing the offerings at Mass, applied also before 1969. Earlier editions of the Roman Missal prescribe that the offerings be incensed by forming over them with the thurible first three crosses and then three circles, the first two anti-clockwise and last clockwise, while also saying a prescribed prayer. 
They also direct that incensing of the altar be done with single swings at 29 designated points of an altar attached to the rear wall of the sanctuary, and at 22 points of a freestanding altar. Pre-1969 editions of the Roman Missal did not allow the use of incense at low mass. In accordance with the conditions laid down in the document Summorum Pontificum of 2007, use of the 1962 edition as an extraordinary form of the Roman Rite is permitted. Ambrosian Rite In the Ambrosian Rite the thurible has no top cover, and is swung clockwise before the sensing of a person or object. Anglicanism In the Anglican Communion, the use of incense is a fairly reliable guide to how high more Catholic in liturgical style or how low more Protestant a church is. Anglo-Catholic churches may use generous quantities of incense. In recent years, some middle-of-the-road Anglican churches have taken to using incense a few times a year for special occasions. Traditionally, at High Mass, the following rule is observed when sensing, which differs from the common Roman rite. Three sets of triple swings, when sensing the Most Blessed Sacrament. Three sets of double swings, when sensing images, relics, and other sacramentals, also when sensing the celebrant. Two sets of double swings, when sensing a deacon. One set of double swings, when sensing a sub-deacon. Three sets of single swings, when sensing the congregation in Anglo-Catholic churches, the thurible is carried in procession in front of the crucifer and acolytes. The celebrant then senses the altar on which the Eucharist is to be offered, in the following form at a nave altar. After venerating the altar, the priest receives the thurible from the server at the north end of the altar. The priest circles the altar, making small movements in the thurible, in an anti-clockwise direction until s, he reaches the west side of the altar, facing east. The priest then makes three sets of triple swings towards east, then continues around the altar to his original position facing west. This same pattern is followed when sensing the altar at the offertory, with the following prequel. The priest makes six swings three plus three over the gifts, making the sign of the cross. The priest then makes three circles, two counterclockwise and one clockwise, over and around the gifts. At the Gospel, the deacon or whoever is reading the Gospel senses following the introduction to the Gospel i.e., hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to N. Then sense using three sets of double swings, one set south, one set north, and one set west. At the elevations of the Blessed Sacrament, during the prayer of consecration, either the deacon, sub-deacon, or other appropriate person including the thurifer, makes three sets of triple swings, as the parish bell and sanctuary bells are rung. Should the Regina Celli during Easter or the Angelus be said or sung, then the celebrant or other appropriate person may sense the statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the following form. Regina Celli, three sets of triple swings during the verse Joy to thee, O Queen of Heaven, Alleluia. And then three sets of triple swings during the concluding prayer. Angelus, one set of triple swings during each Ave Maria, then three sets of triple swings during the prayer Pour forth, we beseech thee, thy grace into our hearts. Incense can be used at any celebration of the Eucharist throughout the year, but especially in the seasons of Christmas, Epiphany and Easter, Maundy Thursday Vigil, Palm Sunday, on the Feasts of Pentecost, Trinity Sunday, Ascension, Feasts of Saints and Martyrs, Corpus Christi, and at the Dedication Festival or Patronal Festival of a Church. <laughs> Eastern Orthodox and Eastern Catholic Rites The Eastern Orthodox Church and the Byzantine Rite Eastern Catholic Churches make frequent use of incense, not only at the Divine Liturgy Eucharist, but also at Vespers, Matins and a number of other occasional services see During funeral services and memorial services Panikita, the censer is swung almost continuously. Incense is understood as symbolizing the sanctifying grace of the Holy Spirit and the prayers of the saints rising to heaven. Incense is offered by the priest or deacon during the services. In some traditions, the ecclesiarch sacristan and his assistant will perform the sensing at specific moments of the service. The thurible Greek, thymiato, thymiato, Church Slavonic, Kadelnitsa, Kadelnitsa, used is often gold-plated combining in itself at the offering of incense the three gifts of the biblical magi, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. 
The thurible consists of a metal bowl usually with a base so it can stand upright into which the charcoal and incense are placed, and a lid often topped with a cross, pierced by holes to allow the fragrance from the incense to escape. The censer will usually have three outer chains for the Holy Trinity attached to the bowl, and a fourth inner chain for the oneness of God attached to the lid. The three outer chains are gathered together and attached to a round conical plate attached to a ring. The inner chain passes through a hole in the conical plate and is attached to another ring to make it easier to lift the lid. In the Greek and some Russian practice twelve bells will be attached to the chains their ringing symbolizes the teaching of the twelve apostles. Sometimes the bowl and lid of the thurible are decorated with crosses or icons in repose, and may even be decorated with semi-precious stones. When not in use the thurible is usually hung from a hook in the sanctuary. When sensing, the priest or deacon holds the censer below the conical plate with only one hand, the right hand allowing it to swing freely. He will make the sign of the cross with the censer by making two vertical swings and a third horizontal swing, the three swings together symbolizing the Holy Trinity. When the temple church building is sensed, the priest or deacon will move in a sunwise clockwise direction, moving to his right as he senses in order the holy table, altar, sanctuary, iconostasis, walls of the temple, clergy and faithful. There are two types of sensing, a greater sensing which encompasses the entire temple and all of the people therein, and a lesser sensing which, depending upon the liturgical context, consists of sensing only a portion of the temple and the people. During some sensings, especially the greater sensing, the clergyman who is performing the sensing will often carry a candle in his left hand. During Bright Week the week which begins on Easter Sunday the priest and the deacon will carry special paschal candles at every sensing, even the lesser sensing. While carrying the paschal candles, the priest or deacon will greet the members of the congregation with the paschal greeting while sensing them. Simple tapers are carried while sensing during funerals and memorial services. During the Eastern Roman Empire, Byzantine Empire the emperor used to be permitted to offer incense on the Feast of the Nativity no doubt as a memorial of the gifts of the Magi, but was permitted to perform no other priestly function. If no priest is available, incense may be offered by a reader or senior layman, but with a hand censer which has no chains on it, but rather a handle, it often has bells as well, suspended from the handle or around the rim. The hand censer is also used in some monasteries even when a priest is present for certain sensings which are done by a monastic other than a vested priest or deacon. During Holy Week it is customary in some places for even the priest and deacon to use the hand censer for all of the sensings, as a sign of humility and mourning at the Passion of Christ. The faithful will often burn incense, using a hand censer, in the home during morning and evening prayers, and it is not unusual for the head of the household to bless the holy icons and all of the members of the household with a hand censer. <laughs> boat boy The boat boy or boat bearer is a junior altar server position found in Catholic and Anglican churches. The role of a boat boy is to assist the thurifer, the senior altar server who carries the thurible. The boat bearer carries the boat, a small metal container, Latin navicula, which holds the supplies of incense. The boat has a small spoon inside which is used to transfer the grains of incense onto the red-hot charcoals in the thurible. Although at times the boat bearer transfers the incense himself, more usually he simply holds the boat open as the priest performs this task. Topic. See also Incense offering Religious use of incense Topic. References Topic. External links Holy Smoke, the use of incense in the Catholic Church Dodd, Robert. The 21st of February 2009. Roll of the Thurifer. St. Matthew's Cathedral, Dallas, Texas: Cathedral Church of St. Matthew. Archived from the original on the 23rd of September 2013. Retrieved the 23rd of September 2013. Images of the thurible used during Mass at All Saints Church, Kings Lynn. About sensing rubrics, Orthodox Church in America.